All right, United just wrapped up their uh, hiring brief here with NGPA, and there was a boatload of really good information on this one. Fleet updates, hiring via traditional and aviate pathways, CJO and postponed class dates, and 2021 competitive hiring minimums were things that were discussed. So United has 808 mainline aircraft as of today, 578 of those are regionals, 27 planned deliveries in 2021. No fleets have been retired due to the pandemic. Some of the aircraft are approaching their age limit and may be retired as a result, but not because of the pandemic, because of aging. Yes, a few of their 777s are grounded. The company's working closely with Boeing and the FAA, trying to get them flying again. If you haven't seen the YouTube video about that engine failure, that, that's what the cause of it is. And they've got the 737 Max back, on, Max back online, which is working great. 50% of their planes were parked at the beginning of the pandemic. They're bringing them out of the desert uh, to get ready for the travel influx. 184 deliveries are what they're expecting in the next five years. Um, during the pandemic, they did 11,000 cargo only flights. While freight was used to keep the airline afloat, the company does still stand by the best place for freight for them is in the belly. They need to bring passengers back and they want to carry cargo like they have in the past. They've also partnered with the Cleveland Clinic and Clorox to promote their healthier travel uh, and getting the travel industry back up and running. This just goes to show some of the creative outside the box things that United has been doing during the pandemic to get themselves uh, up and running and make sure they're that kind of go-to carrier as everything starts to recover. The company's currently working to reverse displacements. They're returning captains to their captain seat and ensuring all pilots are safe, current, and proficient because they anticipate 5,000 retirements in the next 10 years. While they haven't announced their specific hiring numbers, both Brian and Susan expect big hiring announcements in the next weeks or months to come. And they said, watch the news. We will be keeping you up to date on this on our weekly uh, industry updates. Direct quote, they are priming the pump to be ready to hire quickly. That's a direct quote. Uh, Kirby is targeting growing the airline the same 4 to 6% they were pre-pandemic. Um, and they're looking at specifically uh, expanding out their route structure in Florida and the Eastern Corridor. So you really want to take, uh, take a look at leading indicators like cruise lines and travel destinations and spring break and things like that that show that that travel is recovering. Susan talked about getting hired at the beginning of a wave. Um, United offers their new hire pilots. This is their big thing an opportunity to retire with four stripes on an international wide body. That's what they're boasting. And they did talk about new pilot hire classes were postponed and there were CJOs on the table. Um, United has been in contact with each of these folks and they intend to ensure these uh, folks are still viable as hiring resumes. Um, they've announced they will be hiring future applicants via the traditional route and their own pathway program, Aviate. We personally have had a, a number of folks getting hired through Aviate recently, um, and we're really excited about the off-the-street folks getting hired through their normal uh, pathway here soon. Um, they talked about what they're considering competitive street hire minimums. These are non-Aviate folks. 3,500 to 4,000 hours. They highly prefer a bachelor's degree. More than 98% of their new hires have one and multi-crew PIC time. They hit this so hard. Be sure to update your application via airline apps. They prefer at least 100 hours in the past 12 months for those in the pool. They understand, look, the situation everyone's facing. Not everybody's gonna have 100 hours. And they talked about it. Get your hands on a yoke anytime you have the opportunity to, and it's going to be beneficial. Susan hit this point multiple times. They're huge on networking. They're talking about getting the relationships established now, specifically with pilots and recruiters. This is why our networking folks have been so uh, successful through LinkedIn recently. Um, we are the only company that has an actual comprehensive networking program uh, to teach you how to do this so that after you get your resume on file, after you get your, your application submitted, you're doing everything you can to move yourself from the one and a half to 3% chance of just submitting a resume and a 65 to 85% chance once you've networked and you have folks on the inside looking for your stuff. Overall, this was extraordinarily optimistic, extraordinarily exciting, and we look forward to bringing you more good news in the next couple of weeks, hopefully as they, uh, as they start to make their formal hiring announcements. Talk soon.